Grade 8 Math number 2.1a, Exponents and Powers of 10. An exponent is a little number written on the upper right side of a base number. It tells us how many times the base is used as a factor, or how many times we'll multiply the base to itself. If you see a 2 with a little 2 exponent, it's read as 2 is 2 to the second power, or 2 squared. 2 times 2. That's how many times we multiply 2 to itself. 2 times. 2 times 2. Think of it as a square. There's 2 going this way and 2 going this way. It's 2 times 2. When we see 2 with a little 3 exponent, it's read as 2 to the third power. Or 2 cubed. It means 2 times 2 times 2. We multiply 2 to itself 3 times. So think of a cube. There's 2 going this way, 2 going high, and 2 going wide. It's a cube. See? 2 with a little 4 exponent is read as 2 to the 4th power, and it means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. When we see exponents of 10, 10 to the second power means 10 times 10. These, this little 2 exponent tells us we're supposed to have two zeros. 10 to the third power tells us we're supposed to have three zeros. It's 10 times 10 times 10. So remember, for powers of 10, the exponent tells us how many zeros we're supposed to have. Isn't that easy? 10 to the eighth power means there's going to be eight zeros. 10 to the sixth power means there's going to be six zeros. So, we've got a base number, that's our 5, and our exponent, that's the 3, and it just means, the exponent just means how many times we're going to multiply 5 to itself. 5 times 5 times 5. So multiplying by powers of 10 can help us remove decimal points and make a number bigger. 0 0.026 multiplied by 10 to the third power, which means 1,000, 10 times 10 times 10. We're going to put three hops to the right. One, two, three for the decimal point. And it's going to go behind the six, so now we've got a 26. We move the decimal point to the right three places, three hops, because point 0 0.026 is being multiplied by 10 to the third power. The little three is a positive exponent, and we're multiplying, so we move towards the right side. And follow this down, yes, there are negative exponents. So this is a positive exponent. And just like positive numbers, we don't write the plus sign in front of it. But for negative exponents, we do write a little minus sign in front of it. So we add as many zeros as needed to fill any empty place values. If we had multiplied this to 10 to the 6th power, we would have gone three more hops, and we would have had 26,000. We would have had to add zeros to the back of that. Okay? Now dividing by powers of 10 can help us add a decimal point and make a number smaller. So 41.2 divided by 10 to the third power, which is 10 times 10 times 10, or 1,000, we're going to move our decimal point to the left. When we multiplied, we moved it to the right. When we divide, we move it to the left. Our number becomes 0 .0412. What happened was the decimal place was here, and we did three hops because of that three exponent. One, two, three. We had to add a zero for a place value holder in between the decimal point and that four. So we move the decimal point towards the left three places, three hops, because 41.2 is being divided by 10 to the third power. The little three is a positive exponent, and we're dividing. So we move towards the left. So remember, yes, there are negative exponents. We're going to get into that coming up in the next couple videos. So we add as many zeros as needed to fill any empty place values, and we had to add one. Now. What we're normally doing when we write numbers is called standard notation. It's the normal way we write numbers like 125 or 3,500 or 100,000. That's called standard notation. We're going to be coming up with a different type of notation in the next couple of videos. All right? So just remember, standard is the regular way that we've always done it and we've always known how. All right? Okay. We're going to talk about patterns with integers and notation in the next video, and I'll see you there. Bye.